TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update on this Thursday, the 24th of March. One week to go to wrap up the month. We're going to see what that monthly candle looks like this time next week. What we are looking at is the Dow's up 114 and 34,473. For subscribers to my opening call, I said the Chapman Wave trend gauge was very low yesterday. So no matter how much the futures are up, there should be some pullback. Usually it goes negative before it rallies. Well, we had a strong move up, and then the market, the Dow went down to 34,355, three points off the, the low of yesterday, uh, of the close of yesterday. Uh, very interesting, and we'll see what happens now, uh, because it's sitting right on the 200-period exponential moving average, which most of the time in the last few days has been support for a spring to the upside. We'll see what happens. We're looking at the S&P also up. It is up. 23 at 44.79. Like the Dow, it's made a peak C. We're waiting to see if we can go to a leg D above the high that was made three days ago of 45.22, round number high. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, pulling back a little bit. Uh, it's still up 10 cents at 204. It's trying to rally, but the QQQ, and this is going to be very interesting, the QQQ ran in a straight line up to the 200 period moving average in the daily chart, which it hit twice as an orange line. Uh, it's pulling back a little bit. It's still up $1.80 at $3.50, $3.60. Watching that, it needs to get to $3.62 by Monday or Tuesday to say there's still upside action to come. We're looking at gold. Uh, gold was up earlier. It's still up. It's up 15 at 1952. Within the rectangle, it's a nice move up, and really, it needs to get into the 1960s to say, uh uh. Uh, I'm done with the downside. I'm moving more to the upside. Most importantly, we're looking at the TLT. Uh, try to rally is now down $1.74 at 129.73. That was really ugly. It got right into the Chapman Wave inside track. Final support level, it needs to hold the 128. So if it goes below that, those rates are going quite a bit high. Looking at crude oil, which is actually holding very nicely, even though it's down to at 113.02. It's in that middle of that range from the 130 area of the 7th of March down to the low at about 90 that was made a week and a half ago. We'll have a lot more to talk about when I get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour, my daily uh, uh, show, 10 o'clock to 11, and my newsletter is the opening. See you in a few minutes. Hope to see you there. Tommy O'Brien kicks us off at 9 with the bar.